Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best ways to increase your FPS, fix lagging and stuttering, and overall increase the performance of your Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 drop recently. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. Leave your space down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, press your windows key and then search for settings. Once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to increase your performance. After that, go back to gaming, then go down to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will help you to reduce the app streaming in the background and turning off notifications that ultimately pops up in your game, ultimately giving you better FPS. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply go over to this, click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for video games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as increase the performance of your games by using using GPU to render it. After that, go back to graphics and right over here, click on the browse button and then go to the install location of your game. Once you're here, go over to binaries, win64 and in here you'll find win64shipping.exe. Click on add and it's already added in my list. Find it, click on it, go over to options and then click on high performance, then click on save. Step number two is the best compatibility settings and for that, go to the install location of Fortnite. Once you locate your folder, go down to Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and you'll find win64shipping.exe. Right click on it, go over to Properties, and then go to Compatibility. Then click on Disable Full Screen Optimization, Change High DPI Settings, and then Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. Click on OK and then click on OK. Step number three is disabling unwanted startup apps. And for that, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together on your PC. Go over to Startup Apps and over here, disable all apps that you do not want to boot with the boot of your PC. It will help you to reduce your last BIOS time and it will also help you to reduce the number of applications and processes running in the background, which you do not really need. This will ensure that your system has a lot more free resources to be utilized for your games. Next step is Ezus Partition Master. It is a super simple master control application that helps you to manage your disk efficiently on your PC like a pro. You can get the free version of it from the link in the description below and it should look like this. Using it, you can resize and move your disk space. You can clone or merge your operating system. You can even format your disk, delete the partition, merge the partition, split the partition, extend or shrink the partition, and they have a lot more things to do. It is a super handy application which helps you to clone, convert, recover your old partition, make a bootable media, and a toolkit offers you a lot of things as well. It is important to know that perfect partition of your disks will help you to give you better FPS and better performance in game because if your disks are managed correctly, you can get best FPS possible in the game and best performance of your PC. And for that, I highly recommend you guys to get an SSD installed on your PC. SSD are much faster than your hard disk drive and Jesus Partition Master also helps you to manage your SSD. Just like me, I have used my migrate OS and migrated my OS from my hard disk drive to my SSD. So previously my operating system was in this hard disk that is disk 2 and I have transferred it from disk 2 to disk 3. That is my 1TB SSD. Once you selected your source, you have to select your destination, go over to next and if you click on yes, it will restart your PC and it will start migrating your operating system. Isis Partition Master is a super efficient way to manage your disk and increase your system performance drastically. It has a lot of pro features which you can look out for yourself. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. Make sure to go check out Isis Partition Master. Next step is disabling unwanted services. And for that, search for msconfig on your PC or open up system configuration, go to the services section, click on hide all Microsoft services and disable all unwanted services such as fan control service, Adobe and browser update service, RGB and fan control services and a lot more. This will help you to reduce the number of services running in the background, ultimately 
likely giving you better performance in the game. Once again, know what you are disabling because some services such as VGC are required to play games or anti-cheat services which are required to play games on your PC. Next step is deanimating your windows and it is super simple. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once performance option opens up, click on adjust for best performance, then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen forms. All three of them will help you to minimize the animations of your windows and ultimately giving you better performance by reducing animations. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues, ping issues and latency with exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of all of your network issues. Simply download it from the link in the description below. Once you open it up, the application should look like this and over here it has a list of over 1000 games to choose from. Simply locate Fortnite from this list and then select the nearest game region to you. For me, it will be Dubai 01 and it will give me an estimation of 29 milliseconds of ping right away. Click on apply routes and then it will be added. Exit lag helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance, just like a VPN. Doing so will help you to fix your lags, packet loss, ping issues, unstable internet and so much more. The best part about exit lag is the tool section right over here which offers you a dedicated FPS boost section wherein if you enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third last and last option, it will help you to gain extra FPS in the games. And this is the most amazing part of exit lag. Once again, exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using it. But once again, if you are a subscriber of this channel, you can go to the link in the description below and you can get a 2 plus 1 month free on your first subscription. It's exclusive to you guys and I believe that it's gonna help you a lot. So make sure to go check out exit lag, links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super important. Search for create a restore point on your PC and once you are here, select your local disk C, click on create and name it Fortnite just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore all of the registry changes that you made to back to normal you can always do it without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In this pack, you'll find 5 simple folders. Open up the first one which has a CPU priority. In this, you'll find AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority. You can simply double click to run it according to your CPU. The second folder is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your memory. Once again, I use 32 GB RAM so I need to run this one. However, if none of them helps you, you can always reset it back to default. Third one is the Fortnite optimization in which I have left Fortnite priority. Once again, double click to run this on your PC and it will help you to optimize your game. Fourth one is an optional folder. If the rest of them help you, you can skip this. However, for maximum FPS, I recommend you guys to follow this. It helps you to disable all unwanted services on your PC to ensure that you're getting the maximum FPS. And once again, you can double click to run all of them. And if you want to revert them, you can simply use this folder to revert all of them back to normal. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean cash fps.bat and msi utility v3 simply right click and run this one and it will start deleting all of your unwanted and temporary files on your pc these are the temporary files generated by your applications which are not required now let it do the job the second folder is the fps.bat you can right click and run this as administrator and all it does is it runs a bunch of commands on your PC that you do not have to type in manually, it deletes your temporary files and disables some unwanted services on your PC that helps you to gain extra FPS. Some of these services include prefetch. Last is the MSI mode utility v3, simply right click and run this as administrator. And in this application, you have to locate your graphic card that is right over here. Click on the MSI button right in front of it and from the interrupt priority from undefined, set this thing to high, click on apply and then close it. It will set your GPU affinity to a higher state. Once you're done with the FPS pack, drop into the game to follow the best in-game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then go over to settings. Right over here, for the window mode, I highly recommend you guys to select full screen and then for the resolution, you can lower it down to get extra FPS. However, I would prefer you guys to use the native resolution. Right after that, you'll find VSync. Simply turn this thing off. For frame rate limit, set this thing to unlimited. Rendering mode, once again, I use performance, lower graphical fidelity. However, you can use DirectX with DLSS or AMD FSR to get extra FPS or increase your performance. Then scroll all the way down to 3D resolution and if you're playing on lower graphical fidelity, you can keep it 70 to 100 percent as it will be the best one for you. And then for the view distance, I have kept it to epic but you can keep it to far. 
Textures, keep it medium or high. Meshes, keep it low. Show FPS, turn it on. Once that is done, go to the sound settings and right over here, scroll a little bit down until you find sound quality and this is very important. Keep it too low because keeping it too high can cause drastic FPS issues. And once that is done, simply press on the apply button. And now you're good to play Fortnite with the best settings possible on your PC. Once again, a new best config guide will be coming out for Fortnite really soon, so stick around. This was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button as it really helps me out. Also, we are really close to 200,000 subscribers and a subscription would be really, really appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Firefox and peace out.